You were trending. Wow. Thanks to our shout out at Daybreak. So here's one for you. Um, if you could do your career all over again, what would you change? This is from Hannah. I wouldn't change anything. I think all your experiences, whether good or bad, shape the way you conduct yourself, the way you handle future situations. So I wouldn't change anything. It's been incredible. Sophie asks. Um, Maybe some you... of the outfits I wore in the book. <laughs> well, yeah, and those pictures and are all in the book. Don't worry about that. They're all there for the world to see. Sophie asks, would you ever consider doing a fitness video? No. No. I, I look awful when I'm working out. The frizzy hair, the red face. It's not a pretty sight. It's not something you would want on a big TV screen. Trust us. <laughs> Lucy Lou says, uh, Lucy Ask Lou. Cheryl. Yeah, Lucy Lou, indeed. Um, I'm sure, I don't think it's Hollywood's Lucy Lou. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm sure she'll just text you directly. What is your most embarrassing memory? Oh, I have many. I have many, 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 many. I mean, too many to sit and talk about, to be honest. Um, Jennifer, so many people look up to you and love you. Who do you look up to? There are many, there's so many amazing women. I like strong, independent women. I love Beyonce and me mother. I look up to me mother. Ma'am. She's an amazing person. JFT96, if indeed that is your real name, <laughs> would you rather be attacked by one horse-sized duck or a dozen duck-sized horses? One horse-sized duck, I think you have more of a chance of survival. Yeah, the internet's a lovely place, isn't it? Okay, this is something I was worried about when we talked about this last time. When was the last time you did a swan dive? On tour, on my solo tour. I'm not planning on doing any time, so any, any time soon. Your final tweet. What was the funniest thing that happened to you on tour? This, I need to know. Having got close to Kimberly over the months, backstage with all you girls. Oh, God. I mean, it's non-stop. Um, there's always something going on. A wardrobe malfunction. I always used to get the opening number. We wore corsets with chains hanging off them and we also wore fishnet tights so I was forever like stuck to some part of myself in a, in a funny position and trying to dance through while yanking. I always had holes in my tights, you know, just non-stop drama the whole way through. <laughs>